Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of our Curse of Monkey Island playthrough. Uh, my name is Greg. Uh, we are trying to complete all the Monkey Island games before return to Monkey Island, which is out 19th September. Um, just to give you a bit of a context, it's the 29th of August now as I'm recording this. So about three weeks basically I've got to um, to get them all done. It wouldn't be a problem unless I decide to do Tales of Monkey Island. Still on the fence. I might do the first one, see how I feel. Uh, but um, what did we do last episode? Uh, we fudged around with the graphical settings. This is as good as I've got it. I think these are hand painted or hand drawn backgrounds or so they don't stretch very well. So we're stuck in 4-3 aspect ratio. Not an issue, still looks pretty good. Um, but in terms of the actual game, we uh, got taken prisoner, captive aboard um, the truck ship. S psychologically broke down our friend Wally, um, escaped, wound up here, spoke to the voodoo lady, and uh, we basically need uh, a ship, a crew, three crew members specifically. Uh, we need to rescue, get a lane back, who's been told, turned into a golden statue, and we need a map to Blood Island. We have one member of the crew so far, Haggis Mutton, I think his name was. We beat him in a cave toss where we cheated. Um, what else have we done? Um, we know that the map to Blood Island, uh, well, someone who knows how to get Blood Island is the um, the person in the theatre was just like my, my manager or my agent knows. And he is at the, give me a second, uh, he's at the beach club. It's a membership card to the Brimstone, Brimstone Beach, Beach Club. Club. So I think, starting off episode two, let's go there. I'm basically thinking we can get off this island in this episode, if I remember correctly. Uh, so let's go. Uh, uh, how do we get off? Here we go. So, um, we need to do a little bit more exploring. Um, so we also, uh, let's go to the beach first, though. Ah. So in the previous episode as well, we picked up uh, this rubber plug, which we used the biscuit cutter, and I believe this will allow us to fix the boat, if I remember correctly, and I think you might use this paste. Um, but let's talk to this, um, if I remember, complete douchebag, but let's let's see if that's correct. Yes, may I help you? My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Threepwood? You must be seersucker Skip Rackham's cousin. How are Muffy and the twins? Uh, who? Hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach and a swabber size class at two and four. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> Let me see your membership card and we'll fix you right up. Why? You're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgie, part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired Pirates. It's very exclusive. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea and it was <laughs> terrible. Then let me also point out that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Good day. Oh, dickhead. This is why I remember hating this guy. Uh, Hi. Yes? Uh, let me have some of that cooking oil. That oil is only for French frying. It stays right here. Hey, what a coincidence. I'm French. Toss that baby right over here. <laughs> you don't sound French, and you don't look French. And you don't know how much you're getting on my nerves. I was thinking of joining a club for snotty rich folks. Where do I sign? Well, it's not that easy. First, you'll have to get on our waiting list. That could take several months. Then, there's the credit check, references, family history. 
the oral presentation and the written test, mostly dealing with Spanish treasure, pillaging and golfing in the greater Caribbean area. And then finally, our 14-step interviewing process. And then I'll be in your club? No, I'm afraid after that, I'd have to blackball you. Um. Onion ring emergency. <laughs> Give me all the oil you've got. Sorry, as long as I'm in charge here, you'll get no handouts. <laughs> what if I just washed up a bit? Then could I join your club? It's nothing personal, but club policy states that I have to exclude anyone whose odor or presence <laughs> might disgust or offend the oh, other members. Oh, God. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> All right. Gotta be going. Uh, so let's give him... Ah, I'm so used to Monkey Island 1 and 2 controls where you can uh, right-click stuff and stuff like that. Uh, let's... This proves I'm a member. Click it like this. There we go. Hey, excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. <laughs> my card let me see that oh no in the name of all things clean you've got a membership yes and i think i'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach no you mustn't <laughs> i must and perhaps i'll sunbathe nude Sweet mother of pearl, no! Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. Uh, okay. It's an ice bucket for a bottle of sparkling grog. I don't want to carry that around. Right, let's grab some towels. Nice fluffy towel. How many can I take? I'll just take one more. Uh, any more? I've got enough towel. Where have I got? Three. Um, okay. So I remember a little bit of this. We can't, if I remember correctly, we can't walk on this. Ah! Ah! Papa Pichu! With these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. Nope. Okay. So I believe we can dunk the towels in this ice bucket. Like I say, I remember most of the the early part of this game. It's it's Blood Island where I start Blood Island with the Mega the Monkey. Uh, the Mega Monkey harder puzzles enabled. That's when I think I might struggle a little bit. It seems to recall that now you can do this. There we go. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's have a little chat to this guy here. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Threewood. I am Palido. Palido Domingo. I am so glad you're here. Finally. Someone on this island with some manners. And my drink needs refreshing. Take it away and bring me another. Wow, you're pale. Look, babe, I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so <laughs> cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since January. <laughs> I've seen correctional fluids with better color than you. Yeah, babe, I'm not the tannest cat around, but as you can see, I'm working on it. Um, I'm looking for Blood Island. Go. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. That's funny. Slappy Cromwell told me you booked all his shows there. Cromwell? I should have known. If I booked that guy in a dinghy, there'd be empty seats. So you do know how to get to Blood Island? Yeah, yeah. They had a really nice room there, too. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. It was the place to go before they moved the shipping lanes. I used to book so many gigs there, I had the map tattooed on my back. Uh, on your back? All those little yellow sticky notes just kept getting lost. Oh. 
Why did you lie and say you didn't know how to get to Blood Island? I, I, I just don't want to say. What? It's your face, babe. There, I said it, babe. I hope you can forgive me. I just gotta be honest. I just didn't think you were the right type for Blood Island. That's not some place I picture your career going right now. Let me get you a booking somewhere that's in your league. I can gig you at this little shoe factory in Hoboken. It's Blood Island or nothing. If that's the way it's gotta be, babe, then that's the way it's gotta be. But you're gonna have to find new representation, okay? Can I see your map to Blood Island? You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. When will that be? Could be a long time, babe. A very, very long time. Mm. Okay. See you around. All right. There's obviously more dialogue we can do with this guy. Make a few jokes, but let's let's make some progress. You know, this is a this is a semi walkthrough playthrough because I kind of know what I'm doing. Let's grab that mug. And let's open this, which I think allows us to get here without having to do the stupid bit on the sand. Cool. Uh, so this gets us there and then this gets us here. OK, let's pick up another towel. And we are going to really annoy this guy. But nice. it's worth it. Uh, we're going to soak this towel again. This towel is soaking wet. Uh, can I have one of those? Yeah, no. Hmm. It looks like some of those. Yeah. Right. Let's use this wet towel on him and see what happens. Papa Bishu! <laughs> That's how you do it. Give me that cooking oil. Okay. If you remember in the first, the previous episode, the first episode, uh, we got ripped off by this dickhead here. So let's, we've just got given a mug that someone wants to refill. This guy's got a bottomless mug. Let's switch it over. Look, a three headed monkey. Oh boy, oh boy. Is this going to be, <laughs> going to be swell. swell. Hey, just because you're a grown up, doesn't mean you can waste my time. Okay. Let's give him a nickel. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. <laughs> ah, that was as refreshing as morning dew. How did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, <laughs> you cheap. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. Okay. Let's take the mug. I don't need it anymore. Oh, sorry. No, let's take the picture. That's why we did this. So if we look, ah, we have... It's an empty picture. Now, over here, we have some red dye. So... Let's use it's full of dye now. Full of dye, and we can head back to the beach. My God, this would be so much. I'm, this is why I'm looking so much. I'm really looking forward to um to uh, return to Monkey Island because I'm gonna know nothing about it and like I'll see if my puzzle solving brain is what it used to be because some of these puzzles are notoriously difficult. So with this guy, we have a bottomless mug that we can now give to him. I've brought you a new mug. Thanks. And now, let's use this red dye with the bottomless mug. Here's your drink, sir. <laughs> Look, Palido, you're burning. All those months in the sun and my tan is just gonna peel away. I better turn over. Good idea. Boom. And look what it is. Uh, 
I'll never memorize that map. It's far too complex. No. So, how do we get it off him? How do you get someone to peel? Well, let's make him tan quickly. Cooking oil. Let's pour it on there. And then, we should be able to just... This is disgusting, but it works. Oh. I really wish I didn't <laughs> have to do that. Uh, there it is. It's the map to Blood Island. Peeled off Palado's back. And there we go. Map done. Oh, here we go. A barrel of grog. And a chicken! <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate! Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's, uh... It's, uh, it's some kind of footwear. <laughs> hey! Those are nice boots! <laughs> They're still hot. Ow, 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 ow. It's going to be interesting to see how, um, what the truck's like in the new game because, um, Earl Bowen, who voiced him, uh, isn't returning. So I hope it's still the same. Um, I didn't like the new in the trailer. I don't like Stan's voice that much. Um, it sounds weird, so. Uh, but I have faith in Ron Gilbert that it's going to be good, so it should be. Okay. Um, where are we going next? Let's go to this ship. Let's go to Danger Cove. So, let us use some paste with the. The plug is all pasty now. Plug, and let's fix this shit. Uh, fix this. Um, fix this. Uh, this little boat here, and get up on the ship. Cause look, there are sharks. Uh, Perfect. Now I know. At some point, we need to get tarred and feathered. I have no idea why, but I know that it's important. Right, let's grab onto I'll this. I'll never be able to pick that up. Uh, wait, what? I'll never be able to pick that up. Ah, um. I know we need to do something with this. I'm not going to do it now because I want to remember why we have to do it. Okay, here we go. 15 men on a dead man's hook. Who are you? Uh, Ensign Guybrush Streetwood reporting for duty, sir. Huh? Hmm. You don't look like a member of my crew. Honest, I'm the new guy. I haven't heard of any new recruits. I'll have to check that out with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. <laughs> You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Bossy, and the first mate. And my captain? Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas. The dread pirate. Let's you... Yes, captain. It's on the table, sir. Look up. That's right. Captain Lich. Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered. Yeah. Or you can walk the plank. Feathered sounds good. How about just feathered? No. Sorry. Well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, men? Shall we make him walk the plank? 
Any last words, Threepwood? <laughs> I regret that I have but one life to give for love. All right, in you go! That's odd. There was no splash. Splash! Uh. <laughs> ah. That kind of window usually locks from the inside. I'll have to find it. So anyway, hey, let's let's use the rowboat. Let's use the rowboat again. Uh, I can't remember exactly. So basically, if we get tarred and feathered, we look like um, we look like El Poyo, uh, like Poyo El de la Diablo, like the Chicken Devil. Um, and then it it scares this guy, but to what end? Anyway, we can do something different now, though. So we can, uh, I think, give this guy a jawbreaker. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to ye. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr! I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth, but it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Yeah. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. We've got something like that because we have some gum. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Right. And I think when he blows a, b a bubble, the tooth's in it, so we can do this. Why, you little <laughs> scam. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you've played on old Cap and Blonde Beer. Cool. And now let's pick up this tooth. Boom. Hey! Where do you think you be going in such a hurry? Hmm? I don't suppose you know where me missing gold tooth be? Uh, no. Then what do you call that then? Oh, that. I thought it was a rock in my shoe. I was gonna take it outside. Sure you was. Give it back. Um. Oh, yeah. We're doing Mega Monkey mode. Okay. Yes. There's something different you do. I need to give this guy gum again. More gum? Yeah, it looks like you swallowed the last piece I gave you. Thanks. Hmm. Right, so let's do this again. <laughs> Pop me bubble, did you? You caught me again. Right. Um. We get it through this. W okay, so let's pick this up. I seem to recall it go. Do we throw it through the window? He'd see me throw it. Oh, hang on a second. Mmm, tastes like sirloin. So we've got some chewed gum. We come gold tooth is in the gum. Buying it with that, and then we do this. No, sorry, we use the blue tap. The balloon but to it. I can't it. use a balloon with that. Uh, we float. No, sorry. You ah, yes, you breathe in helium. Yes, here we go. Hmm. And then you do it now. There we go. Cool. 
Wait one second. Do you have me, Gold Tooth? Uh, no. Let me see. You don't have it. Darn, I'll have to order a new one. I wonder where that tooth fell. Yeah, that's a, that's a mega, mega monkey puzzle. I don't know what other ones there are. I, I know that that's one. Um, and I think there's a few on Blood Island, which means we might struggle. Um, I think it goes in here, so I think you can use the pie pan to sieve it. Boom. It's the gold tooth. Excellent. I actually thought you might have to... I thought you poked holes in it, like... I don't want to pin that. No, eh. Some reason I thought you... I don't want to cut that. ...poked holes in it and and kind of almost um, sieved it out, but... That's gold done. <sighs> See, I know they'll, this will get us crew member number two. I know how to get crew member number three. Um, but we need an item to do it, and I don't know where to get it from... Uh, there we go. Check this out. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So you'll join my crew? Sure, as long as my partners will join too. Two. I'll need one more sailor for my crew. Okay. Um, we're going in here because. Sparks flying in my head. Synapse is triggering. I think we can open this pocket and there's a glove in it. There's a glove in here. Yes, I knew. I knew we got a glove somewhere. Uh, here we go. It's a glove. And now we're going to do one of my favourite segments in this game. As we are going to duel. This guy. But first, we need to insult him. Now there's a challenge to the field of honor. Choose your weapon. So, I remember spending ages when I was younger picking these, thinking you have to do something. No, sirree. Close the box lid and then choose this. I choose the banjo. I accept. You do? Okay. Concentration time now. I'm not going to be speaking much because I need to concentrate. basically copy what he does. What's the matter, brush boy? Can't you keep it up? It was five. I did it. I'm sorry. I just lost my... I swear I clicked it. The melody. Would you like to try again? Sure. I'm just getting warm. Well, damn, I swear I did that. changes you have to do it quick maybe it's a quick thing okay it's four first two next We go round two doesn't sound that good though Forty. 
There we go. Five double two five. You're pretty good, boy. Here we go. Let's see you follow this. They do call him. <laughs> He's good. I'll never beat him. He is Edward Van Helden. So, let's go over to this gun pile. And let's take a pistol. Let's use this pistol and let's shoot his banjo. <laughs> what? You shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. <laughs> of all the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. Yeah. I'd be proud to join Boom. your crew. Crew Great. sorted. Map sorted. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready. And give me back my gun. Oh. Well, I got my whole crew. Boom. Easy. I just couldn't remember where you got the glove, so... Yeah, then suddenly you just like I just suddenly remembered. Oh, yeah, it's in a coat pocket. Nice there we go. boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. <laughs> uh oh, quiet! Here comes Captain LeChuck. Avast <laughs> there, you lovers! Set sail for my stronghold on Monkey Island. I'll unleash my entire army of the undead. This time, Elaine will be mine. Ah, Elaine. It will be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my kiss on your lips and become my undead bride. And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way. Suffering sailors, it is good to be dead. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Let's get out of here. I feel the it's stuff on here. So I can't remember this exactly. We need to get tarred and feathered and go into that shop and something happens and I don't know why. Let's do it. So, um, we, oh, I think I remember now. Then that gets us, yes, okay. So, uh, we could use this bread knife with this plank. Which means now there is no plank for us to walk. So when we get trapped, we have to get tarred and feathered. Um look in here. How strange. The hold is full of broken luggage. Mm, no. Let's go over and use this door. <laughs> Who's there? Sneaking on board the ship. I don't know how or why you came back on board, but the next time you walk the plank will be your last. What's that, Captain? Vandals? Yes, sir. Darn feathers. I know it's messy, but it's the only torture we have left. Our illustrious Captain has declared that you shall be tarred and feathered. That'll learn ya. 
here. So what do I do now? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, just get lost then. Okay, now I believe if we go to that place, uh, the diner, we end up back on that ship. I can't remember exactly how. I think this guy traps us in a barrel. So let's see. This works. Do you have a reservation? Madre de Dios! Es el pueblo diablo! Si, sí, he dejado en libertad los prisioneros y ahora vengo por ti. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Oh, whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an overachiever, a, a doer. I'm just a tiny bit of fly. LeChimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the he captain is, a... is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh bananas for the whole crew! An utter loon. What's that, Captain? <laughs> Your parasite is a key chimp. You. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What? With the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean. <laughs> that there, that's how we get it. So, um, the way we do this is with this book here the a m c's of ventriloquism right let's have a go um <clears throat> mr fossey i've been thinking are you all right captain <laughs> you sound different don't interrupt <gasps> sorry sir maybe it's time we gave up pirating i mean take a look around at me at the rest of the crew we're all monkeys you mean in the Darwinian sense, <laughs> sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, no, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir. But I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good. And then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. All eyes open, follow the path to the X. There's always one of these in the game. So let's take a look at that. Ah, let's not do that. I keep right clicking to try and look at it. So I'm going to take a picture of this. Once again, we have weird directions, but. Boom. We'll be able to figure it out. Uh, can we talk to Mr. Le uh, Captain LeChimp? I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. I... I don't think so. It's the Dread Pirate Lechimp. Um, can I pick any stuff up? I don't think I can. I avoid salt whenever possible and <laughs> only use fresh ground pepper. It's two tickets for the Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts. I don't go in for all that highbrow artsy theater yeah. stuff. I don't Besides, there's... if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage. Yeah, I don't need anything else here, I don't think. So let's go here. Let's go Whoops, down. There's no rowboat. 
Whoops, there's no rowboat. Yeah, but there's the... Whoop, whoops, there's no rowboat. Hang on a second. Oh, so it's this way. And then, there, we land on this. Cool. And I think we can get off this island. Um, we can keep going a bit longer. Let's... Let's do... Yeah, let's do the ship combat. So it's yeah, it's good fun. Um, what did we just do? Yes, here we go. Uh, ooh, hang on a second. Let's go in here, then through here, and here, up here. Okay. Ooh, no, I've messed up. So. We have our directions. We have eight directions. So. Uh, I don't know when to pull the handle, but it says southeast. Uh, we should see Sam and Max in a second as well. Northwest. West. South. Uh, east. Two paces northeast. There's Max. Uh, east. Southwest. X marks the spot. It. Yeah. That must be where Elaine is buried. I mean, it was pretty obvious. <laughs> um, yeah, the handle just resets now, it. The moment I know you've all been waiting for. How about some amazing juggling? Um, what do we do now? Uh, is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's three. See how I juggle these knives? At great personal risk to myself and to you if I slip. He's a great juggler, but I sure wish he'd get off the stage so I can dig a lane. How do we get him off the stage? Um, we do something with these cannonballs. Do we, like, trip him up or something? I don't want to haul those cannonballs around. Do we? No. Oh, no. What do we do? There's something we can do. Why don't I remember? I don't remember this. Something with chicken grease. Oh, we put the cat chicken grease on the cannonballs. Uh oh. It go. looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. And now the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The famous cannonball juggling scene from Romeo and Juliet. Whoa! Whoops! <laughs> I'm glad it had a happy ending and he got the, um, <laughs> got the girl in the end. All right. He, he knows what's up. He knew it was good. All right, let's dig this, let's dig this up. I mean, where else is it going to be? Elaine should be safe up in the crowd. And we're now. stealing the, the chimp ship wow. as well. The sea cucumber. Part one. Done. Well, I've got a crew, a Unless map, a ship, and finally this is part got a lane back. So let's say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save a lane. And now we're going up to an incredibly it, good song. Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune. Guys, this might be more difficult than I first imagined. There it is. Part two done. Let's, let's do the sword fighting. Ah, the sea. I, the sea. Makes you glad to be alive. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. The sunlight sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got the outrunner. All right, men. Are you with me? Hey. Look, guys. Away. <laughs> Where? Where? 
That ship is gaining on us. Cutthroat Bill, rig the topsail. Is that a right whale? No, no, lad. They're boarding us. <laughs> Crew, help me out here. It is a member of the Cetus suborder, Mr. Shetty, though. I think you're right. Well, well. Waddingham, so it's you. What do you want, other than a good toupee? I've come for your map to the fabled blood alarm. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. It will make a fun paperweight for my escritoire. Ooh, look! It's breaching! <laughs> Ooh. Ah! Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 <laughs> feet. And weigh 200 metric tons. You know, of course. In a sword fight, a sharp weed is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well... You fight like a cow. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. Rhyme. What? So when I say every enemy I've met, I've annihilated, you say... <laughs> I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No. You say, with your breath, I'm sure they are suffocated. Let's try that again, shall we? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Do I look that much uh, like your fiancé? I, uh, I... Just as I thought. You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here, take it. That's your map? Yeah. As soon as I'm through piloting these waters, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. Okay. I've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. It was a rousing battle, Captain. Aye, and it reminds me of a song. Oh, yes. We're a band of vicious pirates. A sailing out to sea. When you hear our gentle singing. You'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Oh, we're doing every option on, here. Then. This is the We've best song ever. That the pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clef. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned down. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sail and roam the sea. Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose because we know just where to fire it. We're thieving balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plug. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. All right, let's get to work. All right, crew, let's get to work. Our vocation's a thing we love, a thing we'd never shirk. We'll fight you in the harbor. We'll battle you on land. When you meet singing pirates, there'll be more than you can stand. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No time for song. We've got to move. The battle will be long, but our courage we will prove. We're a pack of scurvy sea dogs. Have we pity not a dram? We only roasted garlic. Dancing from the diaphragm. A pirate I was, was meant to be. Trim the sail and run the sea. Okay, we could end it now here, because you end it by giving an impossible word to rhyme with, but let's keep going. Less singing, more sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. If you try to fight us, you will get a nasty whack and if you disrespect our singing, we will beat you to a crack and a, a pirate, pirate I was <laughs> meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. 
ship we're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. We're troublesome corsairs. And we come to steal your treasures. We would shoot you on the downbeat. But we got to rest five measures. A pirate I was, was meant to, to be. Trim the sail and roam the sea. <laughs> Steaming, thieving, babbush whackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Okay, go. Oh, what a song, but sadly. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um. Well, uh, <laughs> door hinge? <laughs> no, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay, back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. Captain! Yes, Mr. McMahon. We were wondering, we were, just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for their ship. It's Other us. captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship yeah, combat. Yeah, we got the ship more combat. The captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets to be less aggressive and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. I'm a man so of action. Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? Basically, easy mode or not. I love a tough sea battle as much as the next captain. Challenging ship combat it is. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, we've got some weak cannons. We've got a navigational chart. Let's go. No, I'm terrible at folding up maps. Let's look at this chart. And we've got... Here we go. So you right-click the fire. Ah. 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 I forgot how terrible this is. Wait, I think you can control this with mouse and key. Oh, no. How do you... How do you fire when you're... Ah. Uh, is it enter? I'm controlling it with the keyboard. Shift. Oh, give me... Give me some controls. Uh, tab. Boom. There we go. Easy. Get off me, Jack, you sea slug. Give me your treasure and I'll let you live. Ha! Okay, uh, we know this one, don't we? Every enemy oh. I've met, I've annihilated. No With your breath, I'm yeah. sure they all suffocated. On guard. Touche! That is so cliche. My, isn't this a lovely soiree? You can't match my witty repartee. Ah. Can't remember what that one is. I think my video just froze there for a second as well. Apologies if it did. Um. I would have avoided the volcano had I built Pompeii. Give me your treasure. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. I guess I need more practice with this sword fighting stuff. Hey, at least I showed him in the high seas combat part. Yeah. Okay. Uh, really not fissing. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty okay. pirate. Don't make me laugh. Okay, um... You're as repulsive as a monkey in an negligee. Oh, yeah? Hunger, touche. Oh, yeah? Uh... You can't match my witty repartee. I'm shaking. Easy. I'm shaking. So, every time we win... 
in! Give me your treasure, you wax-covered swab. Take it. It was cluttering up me hold anyway. We're loaded with booty. Okay, so let's go back to plunder town. Well, well, and well. Talk to this guy. I guess you've learned an important lesson about cheating. I sure have, mister. <coughs> Golly, I'll never cheat on anyone ever again. Honest. I've got a new business now, and gosh, it's swell. What is it? I'm running guns. Tell me you're lying. <laughs> I never lie anymore, mister. You've shown me the light. Can I interest you in some shrapnelizing ammunition designed to bring exquisite pain and unreasonable suffering to all your enemies? What do you have for sale today? Today, customer name here. Uh, what's your name again? Guybrush Threepwood. Today, Mr. Freepsnud, I can offer you the complete line from Bob's Big Board Boomer Brand Cannon Incorporated. To start with, we have the entry-level model, the Buccaneer's Buddy. We also have the following cannon models available. The Ouchmaster, the Homemaker Deluxe, the Pain Giver 2000, Mr. Massacre, and finally, the cannon used by that most fearsome scoundrel, Rene Rottingham himself, the Destructomatic T-47. So, can I interest you in any of these models, mister? I'll take the Buccaneer's take Buddy. Look at his buddy. The Buccaneer's Buddy it is. Let me just check my stock. Yep, we got him. You will not be disappointed, my friend. Now, will that be doubloons, jewels, captured maidens? My ship's hull is full of booty. Well, the amount in your treasure hold is not enough for this model. Would you take my old cannons as a trade-in? Well, I don't know. They are pretty banged up. Hang on while I check the blue book on them. Okay. I'll have my mom install your new cannon Prano. While she's at it, I'll also have her pick up the appropriate amount from your hold and pick up your trade-in. Mom! Okay. And so we are ready to go again and this is what the process is be a new pirate get their treasure whilst learning new insults upgrade until we get the destructomatic t-47s then we can take down rottingham okay let's go again hey who's the these guys okay we're switching to keyboard and controls because it's a lot easier uh okay they're over here What's the range on these? Okay, a bit better, but not as good. Ooh. Ah. Oh, the wind. There we go. Fire the broadsides. Boom. You'd better leave now if you value your life. Your treasure or your life? No! I'll take your booty! Okay. Uh, we've got this one. You're as repulsive as a monkey in an egg. I look that much. <sighs> Give me I'm the shaking. answer. Unga! Touche! Oh, that's so There we go. You can't match my witty repartee. Um. I'm more confused than mere words can convey. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. And it's like, I'll leave you something, something, and something. Let's get these sausages hot plated. Give me your treasure, you sea skunk. Well, if I had any, you'd be the first one to get it. Ah. Uh, semi-fierce and pirates, these ones are. Uh, and hang on a second. Uh, has my webcam frozen? Hold on a second. Uh, 
Okay, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I hope it's still... That. Let me just... Okay, I've just stopped and started my recording, so hopefully that's fixed a few issues because it was freezing. Um, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't okay. make me laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, uh, we still haven't got this one. repulsive as a monkey in an negligee. I look that Ooh, much like is. your fiancé. Anger, touche. Oh, that is so cliche. Um. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You can't match my witty repartee. I'm shaking. Cool. I'm shaking. You win. Give me your treasure. Yeah, reeking, musty, stench-soaked freebooter. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with nice. Booty. Let's go back. Under Island. Chat with this guy. Back again, mister? I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Ouchmaster. The Ouchmaster it is. Mom! Okay, we can speed through this now a bit, because it goes quite quickly. Down here, look at the map. And over to here. Where are they? Good range now. Why is it only firing one at a time? Nice. Didn't matter. A box on you for boarding me ship. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Okay, got got now. I'll this leave one. you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Your odor alone go. makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Boom. You're the ugliest monster ever created. Something about something dated. The wood paneling on my ship is simulated. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. We know this one. I look that much like your fiance. You can't match my witty repartee. I am rubbing you or glue. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Open your hole so I may take your treasure. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. Okay. Didn't get many new ones from that guy. So, you're a pirate, says he. You'll have to prove it, says I. Your treasure or your life? No. I'll take your booty. Okay. What did he give you're us this one here? the ugliest monster ever created. If you don't there it is. all the ones you've dated. You can't match my witty repartee. The hawk and the eagle are both birds of prey. It's very true. Ah, when your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. I carry traveler's checks that are accepted worldwide. Okay. I've beaten you. I'll let you live if you give me your treasure. If I had treasure, don't you think I'd spend it before grappling with the likes of you? I suppose you would. Never mind then. Alright. Oh, save. Okay. Laugh. Um. This when one your here. your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. There we go. Identify. Very good. I'll hound you night and day. Something like be a good dog, sit, stay, I think. I look that much like your fiance. Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. 
Man. You should let your conscience be your guide. Why is this guy giving us so many good ones? Give me your treasure, you sea skunk. Treasure? You wanted treasure? All right, yeah, we can. Um, we can skip this bit now. Okay. Speeding through it. So yep, 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 yep. Come to cleanse your treasure. Okay. Um, hound you night and day. I'll hound you night and day. I am rubbing you are glue. Okay, cool. Uh, still haven't got this one. Match my witty repartee. I could. There we go. You would use some breath spray. Very good. I'll skewer you like a saw at a buffet. Oh, that is so cliche. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Um. Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. I'm cool. I think that's him beat. You win. Give me your treasure. Yeah, bath size sea sponge. Take it. It was clear. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're loaded with load of a booty. Okay, we're nearly done now. So in here, chat to this guy. Back again. Yeah. Buy some like cannons. I'll take the hole maker. One hole maker. Okay. Mom. What's the hole maker deluxe? Gonna do a little save. And I have a five minute break. Go to the toilet, come back, and we'll get this finished. And then that will be part two done. Like with the Swordmaster from First Monkey Island. Um Rottingham uses different insults that so we have to work out what they are, but the added element <clears throat> the added element of the rhyming actually makes it probably a little bit easier. Um, although lots of things end in A in this, you know, rip, uh, witty repartee, on guard touche, monkey in a negligee, uh, hound you night and day. Um, so, yeah, is it, there'll be a set number it can be, but we'll be able to figure it out. Okay, we are back. Let's continue. Uh, time for some combat. Getting a bit tougher. And how did that not take it down? There we go. If you're looking for a fight, you found one. Got it. Yes, 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 yes. Good luck, boy. Right. Um this one. I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. Boneless fillet. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance? Um. Have we got. Have we got this one? Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. I'm shaking. Yes, I'm sorry. Shaking. Something about. The yeah, no. No. Eh, can't remember. I'll hound you night and day. Then be a good dog. There we Sit. go. Stay. Stay. Throughout the Caribbean, my deeds are celebrated. Don't know that one. I look that much. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Boom. Give me your treasure. If I had treasure, don't you think? I. There we go. Okay. So. Uh, pretty fierce and pirates. I'm Don't make me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Throughout the Caribbean, my great deeds are celebrated. Oh yeah. Noise. And. 
Okay. Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. Oh yeah. Um, we don't. We, I I can beat him now, but I kind of want to get more. So I'm just gonna call him ugly. Ha! Is that the best you can come up with? I have never seen See? such clumsy sword. Got play. a new one. I look that much like your fiance. I think the answer to that one is like you would if you didn't keep running away. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Uh, I don't think we have that one either. My fishing hook is always live baited. Okay, clumsy sword play exterminated. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get off me, okay. I come now. I'll take yes, 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 yes. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. Is that your face? There we go. I thought it was your backside. Very good. Heaven preserve me. You look like something that's The only died. way you'll be preserved is in formaldehyde is the answer to that one. Can you go cross-eyed? Throughout the Caribbean, my deeds are celebrated. Um, we don't have that one yet. I will not rest until all people have been liberated. Okay, cool. Give me your... If I had treasure, don't you think I'd... I... Don't make me laugh. Okay, uh, never seen such clumsy swordplay. I have never swordplay. seen such clumsy swordplay. You would have, but Boom, it's another one away. done. You're the ugliest monster ever created. If you don't count all the ones you've dated. Heaven preserve me, you look like something that's died. I am rubber, you are glue. Throughout the Caribbean, my great deeds are celebrated. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. You win. Give me your treasure. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. Booty. All right. Let's upgrade our cannons again. Back again, mister? Yeah, we can just skip through like all this dialogue. Pain giver 2000. Pain pain give Mom! I don't know how many more there are. To I feel like we've got quite a good selection now. Uh, where are they? Where are you? They up this. Here we go. Oh. Come on. There we go. It best sail away before you get hurt. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. All right, what have we got to do? Let's go for Coming face to face we? with me must leave you. Oh no, we have this one. Is that your ah, I'm an idiot. You're as yeah, yeah, yeah. I look that much. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Sorry, I made a mistake there. I meant to say this one. Heaven preserve me. You look like something that's died. I am rubber. You. I don't want to beat this guy. It'd be annoying if I beat him. Throughout the Caribbean, my great deeds are celebrated. Too bad they're all fabricated. Hey, here we go. It's a new one. A new answer. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. Something about fungicide, I think, is the answer. When I'm done with... Cool. Open 
in your treasure? You want to Oh, and look, we can face Captain Rossingham now. What be you wanting? Right. I'm we, I, we could beat him, but let's let's kill all of them. Let's get all of them. Let's get all of them. So, uh, I think we don't I have this one. Till you've been exterminated. Then perhaps you should there we go. To the caffeinated. Vanguard, touche. Oh, that is so cliche. Oh, that is so cliche. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. Then killing you must it be is. justifiable fungicide. Fungicide. You can't match my witty repartee. Um. Well, I could, if you would use some breath spray. Right. Um, clumsy sword play, I think. I have never seen such clumsy sword play. You would have, but yeah. you're always running away. Give me your treasure. I haven't got any treasure. Why do you think I was attacking you? Okay. We can beat this guy now. Boarding a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. I'm guiding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get this. See if we can get this one though. Um. Yeah. Haven't preserved me. You look like something that's died. The only yes. way you will be preserved is. Yes. That might be all of them, but probably not. I feel like we might be missing one or two. You would be justifiable homicide. Then killing you must be justifiable fungicide. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. I am rubber, you are glue. Yeah, we've got this I one. I have haven't never we? seen such clumsy swordplay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cold booty. You win. Give me your treasure. I didn't want it anyway. It's got that horrible curse. <laughs> what? Only kidding. We're loaded with booty. We are indeed. Alright. We know the drill here. Back again, me. Chat. I'd like to Mr. Massacre. Boom. Let's go down. And that unlocks the next set. Level six cannons. Uh here. Captain Irons first. Um, I don't, I don't think there's any one we need to do. So I think we've got answers to all of them. Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. Is that your face? I thought it was your backside. Would you like to be buried? Oh no, that's new. Uh, with you around, I'd prefer to be fumigated. Might be the answer. Then be a good dog. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm. Yeah. Um. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance. Give me your trap. I had. Right. We just gotta get that um buried or cremated one. Really fierce and You're looking for a fight. Okay. I've come. Uh, where is it? There it Would is. Would you like to be buried or cremated? With you around, I've got it right. To be fumigated. Okay. 
Once again, we know the answers to all I'll of them. Cure you like a sour buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. Uh, Throughout the Caribbean, my great deeds are celebrated. I am rubber, you are glue. Heaven preserve me, you look like something that's died. The only way you'll be preserved is in formaldehyde. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. Yeah, we're not getting any new ones from this guy now, so I think we might be all right. I don't know whether they program it in so new pirates give you a few that you don't know. Um... Then killing you must be justifiable fungicide. Oh. Booty. You win! Give me your treasure. You filthy unwashed thing, you. Take it. It was cluttering yep. up the We're loaded with... And so we can go for... I think he's got a bit of different dialogue now. Again, mister. I'd like to... I'll take the destructive Here we go. T-47. Whoa, mister. You've entered a select group of pirates. You've just ordered the Destructomatic T-47 Armor-Piercing Carnage Delivery System with auto-loading and fax motor. Quite a fine piece of hardware, if I do say so myself. Mom! Okay. There they are. <laughs> Maximum firepower. Let's take down Rottingham. Where is he? There it is. Okay. Range in these is mad. skill and experience uh, oh i kept seeing only two of my things are firing i don't know why let's try that again good start Fancy looking shit. Hand over that map or taste my sword. I've nothing to fear from you, Urchin. Nothing can stop me from blowing you away. Nothing can stop me from blowing you away. Okay. I could if you would use some breath spray. That kind of works. Mm, blowing you away. Yeah, let's go with breath spray. Well, I could if you would use some breath spray. Yeah. Nothing on this earth can save your sorry hide. Nothing on this earth can save your sorry hide. Nothing on this earth can save your sorry hide. Is that your face? I thought it was your backside, kinda. Kinda could be that one. 
but saving save your sorry hide preserve it might be the preserved the only way you'll be preserved is in formaldehyde yes i think it could have been one of two i there. give you a choice you can be gutted or decapitated oh with you around i prefer to be fumigated yeah. with you around I'd prefer easy to that be one fumigated. Your mother, where's that to pay? Um, I look that much like your fiance. Kinda, kinda could be that. I don't know whether. No, not oh, that's so cliche. Yeah. I look that much like your fiance. Oh, I thought that worked for me. In my opinion, that worked. When I'm done, your body will be rotted and putrefied. Um. Huh. Maybe we didn't have the answer to that one. Maybe I missed a, a, a missed one. Uh, we've, when I'm done with you, your body will be rotten and putrefied. At least mine can be identified. And killing you, it could be that or killing you must, you must be just, mm. I'm going to go with at least mine can be identified. At least mine can be identified. Damn it. I thought that would work. Your looks would make pigs nauseated. Your breath, I'm sure they'll they will suffocated would work. Oh, if you don't count all the ones you've dated. Oh, it's got to be that, surely. Yeah, let's go with that. If you don't count all the ones you've dated. Yes. Never before have I faced someone so sissified. Um... Oh, is that your face? I thought it was your oh, backside. Your face? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was your backside. Yes. Oh. Sacre bleu. I cannot that was difficult. It. Much more I difficult than um, in battle. the so Monkey Island one. Map, take your ship and skedaddle. You win, you win. You'll get your map back. You were doomed from the start, you kleptomaniac. All right, all right. I give up already. It's no wonder you lost with a sword so unsteady. Merci. I beg you, no more insults, please. Your smell and face remind me of moldy old cheese. <laughs> we got the map back. Now we can sail to Blood Island. And there we go. The bartender, the thieves, his aunt and her lover. I guess I blacked out for a second. Where's Elaine? She flew a wee bit into the woods when we crashed. Then let's get going. We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? I, I mean, what do you mean, Haggis? This be a mutiny, Captain. We're leaving you. 
Did I mention that I'm offering my crew a very attractive <laughs> pension plan? Ah, uh, you did. And the stock options. But we're still leaving. But why, Haggis? Why? Well, I admit being your pirate crew's been a real pleasure. A real pleasure. But we've grown restless. We can hear the voice of the siren calling to us, and she says she'd be wanting us to do her hair. You're going back to being barbers? Aye. We'll be sailing back to Plunder Island just as soon as we can fix the ship. Good luck, Captain Driftwood. It was a pleasure to be looting with you. I guess I'm on my own again. Okay, let's save it, and boom. That's episode two done. Next episode, I might be able to wrap this up. I can't remember how long Blood Island is. The stuff about convincing a guy that we're his relative. We have to cure his hangover. We've got to get to Skull Island, which I think is next to Blood Island. And when we're there, we have to do something. We steal the diamond. There's reuniting a dead... A, a two dead lovers, I think, too. It's all a little bit of a blur. But then we get transported to a roller coaster. Um, and it feels like it's either going to be two medium sized or even shorter episodes or one giant one. We'll see how we get, go. We'll see how much we can remember. This is the bit where my mind gets a little bit foggy. I think the cannibals even come back too. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, that's for next time. Uh, uh, we have made great progress today. Insult sword fighting, the rhyming one. I think I definitely prefer it. And um, yeah, actually was a bit difficult against Captain Rottingham because there were a few where we're like, actually, a few of these responses work. Um, I'm interested to see what the actual... I might look that up, what the what the uh, the correct ones were to his ones because I see... Because I swear the ones we picked were like better. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in part three where we tackle Blood Island. Bye.